What is going on everybody? Thank you for clicking the link. This is your boy Crisis 20. Ghost Recon Breakpoint is almost here ladies and gentlemen, but I'm here to give you a quick display of all the menus that are there at the top. Will you see all the icons there at the top? That's what I'm going to show you guys today. All right. So this is what you guys will be learning today. All right. So right now we're at the loadout screen, but let's go back to the beginning. So this is the PVP mode ghost ghost war. Um, I've done nothing in here, so I'm not sure what this is about yet. Um, so then you have your map. You could zoom in, zoom out. Um, you can choose to have your your main missions guided for you or you can have them unguided, make it like a real life scenario where you have to look and find where you have to go and go there without it telling you where to go. So that's always the option right there. You can fast travel to your teammates if you want to. So in the open world, you can gather intel or you can actually run across a bivouac in the open world and it will be active on your map. They look like white tents. Basically, they're just temporary resting points for you to craft whatever materials you need to craft, switch your class or change your loadout or buff your character. You can also place a beacon. You can place a beacon anywhere on the map and your team will see it. If you select on the map a mission, it will ask your teammates to accept the mission and then you guys can all be on one accord and move towards that mission. You can also hide or unhide the geographical info, which is all the gray stuff that you see there, the white giant, Lake Mary, things like that. Also, if you press Y on the map, you also see your faction missions, your objectives, basically blueprints um, of certain weapons, things like that, that you would need to get in a certain area. That's pretty much what you see on the right hand side. All right, you got your objectives board. All right, you have your missions down here. All right, you got your side missions here. All right, then you have your faction missions. So you have your faction missions here. If you go into it, it just tell you all your little missions you have, all the faction missions. Got battle rewards. So you get a progression, start unlocking stuff as you go. You have your objectives here. Got your collectibles. You have your tutorials in here, weapon objectives, got all the blueprints in there. And then you have your attachments. Then you have your investigations. Oh, shoot. Hmm. So you can resolve your investigations and you get some XP for it. Didn't even know that one was solved, honestly. But that's good to know. All right. So that's that here. And then to the left, you got special operations. So this is the PVP part of things. But I never touched that yet. Um, oh, OK. They got some raid. Raid operations and preparation. OK, I didn't know they had raid with. I mean, of course, it would make sense to have raids for this game, but this is definitely dope. So that is the objectives board. Then you have your loadout. All right. You have your class here. You have your gear level and then you have your perks. All right. I didn't unlock the third one yet, but you unlock it in the skill tree. Um, you'll see you, you'll see the skill tree soon. You got your weapons here. You got your bomb grenades water and your syringes um, to heal you and you got your um, 
clothing you have your clothing on this side to the right okay um, and then you can you have skin override skin override is basically making your character go back to normal as if you never put anything new on her so very beginning day one look or you can cancel the skin override and just choose what you told her to wear on the right hand side you have your weight load out so make sure you m monitor that uh, when they say show pins basically they just talk about the pinned missions side missions or even blueprints can be pinned So let's move on to the skill tree. All right. So you have your medic, the healing drone. All right. So the drone comes in and heals you. You have your true grit. All right. Recoil reduction and damage resistance kills heal and extend duration. So when you are in the heat of battle, you pop this for the assault and then you pretty much get as much kills as you can to extend your time. All right, next we have the Panther class. All right, so basically the class technique is cloak and run and pretty much you are undetectable by drones. You have a stealth bonus and you have faster movement speed and your suppressors on handguns and submachine guns do not reduce damage. So once she popped the smoke screen, they saw death after that. All right, and last you have your sharpshooter class, uh, class technique arm buster high penetration bullets with bonus damage and muzzle velo velocity you have sensor launcher launches a device that makes marks enemies in a large area longer breath while aiming and you have bonuses with snipers and dmrs so next you have your skills tree which varies upon what class you have um they have classes for recon, they have classes for stealth, they got classes for survival, weapons, and they also have classes that'll customize your weapons and customize your backpack. So I will go over this tree maybe in another video. This probably will be a little long, so I'm gonna skip through it for now. But just know it's very extensive. Then you have your customization tab, pretty much anything that has to deal with your character from facial hair to tattoos to face masks pretty much if you're not happy with your character you can change your character again here so i'm just gonna browse through the menus really quick so you guys can see there we go Put a nice tattoo on her. So yeah, so just customization, just clothing wise anyway. Oh, you could be a certain person. Hmm, interesting, okay. Didn't know that part. Then you have your lobby, all right? You can actually go ahead and match make exploration by main mission by factor effort or by role play you could change it to private or friends only then you have your friends list here people you played with recently you, who's in a hideout who they recommend you playing with and then obviously your favorite then you have your emotes Yep, so then you got your emotes there. Then you have your all time stats over here. And you can display your PvP stats here. All right, so you have your all time, you got your offensive, survival. And the drone so that's that so this is your store but they're blocking a store with you to pre-order and then you have your options here so you have your guided mode this is what I was telling you before about putting the dot so that way you know where to go 
or you could turn it off. You got your settings. Got your aiming, toggle aim. You got your interface. You got your controller. Your video, your image calibration. You have your audio. Then you have your language. You can put a background on the back of your subtitles. And then you have your accessibility, you know, for colorblind, speech to text, things like that. And then you're back to your gameplay mode. So that about wraps it up for the menu layout of this particular section of the game. All right, um, guys, I am really enjoying this game. It's really, really, really good. This game is so thoroughly thought out. It's not even funny. Like they really went down to a lot of details and didn't miss anything on this particular game. I'm going to do more videos on this when the actual game comes out. If I can figure out something, you know, that you guys need a tutorial on or anything like that. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on it. So just make sure you stay tuned and stay locked in and also subscribe guys because I will be doing more videos on this particular game. All right. So till the next time, learn it, know it, add it to your repertoire. This is your boy Crisis 20 and I'll catch you guys at another Ghost Recon Breakpoint tutorial. Peace.